So thanks firstly to Nigel and Ian for organising the event today. It's really important that we get together to discuss this. And also thanks for the invitation to present on behalf of Learning Science. I am going to talk a bit today about the solutions we develop for university lab courses and show the extensive libraries of content we have available for you to use as well. So we're an educational technology partner that work in close collaboration with universities. We've been developing solutions for lab courses for over 14 years. We have a very experienced and expert team based in Bristol, which is made up of scientists, web developers, instructional designers, and educational specialists that work with the instructors at each university partner in developing the resources and bespoke solutions we deliver. We have partnerships with over 60 universities around the world. And we have partnered with many more in the last few weeks who are now helping provide these online resources to support their students remotely and to help them prepare for the next academic year where it's uncertain whether they'll be able to access some of the teaching labs as has been discussed already. The nice thing about working with so many universities is having feedback from lots of academics from a range of subjects that we feed back in to the resources we develop and it helps to focus where we innovate so we're developing resources that are really helping you and your students. These resources are widely used across all STEM disciplines. Over 300,000 activities were taken across our libraries of dynamic lab simulations and our smart worksheets, which I'll show you today. So first I'm gonna talk about preparing students for the lab. So now there's gonna be potentially a much longer delay and students getting hands-on in the lab again. So really important we think about engaging ways we can give the students some practice and prepare them for when they do get to the lab so they're all up to speed as much as possible. And the way we do that is we provide these lab simulations which you can incorporate with your other online materials and video content, etc. And I'll show you how they are really helping students prepare for their lab work. I'm gonna then spend a bit of time talking about our smart worksheet technology. Now these support students working through some really complex scientific data analysis. They can incorporate all different types of questions, graphing, spectra analysis, multi-step calculations. They can work with lab data, randomized data, model data sets, and have feedback at every step so the students are supported and the feedback is personalized based on what the students are entering for the worksheets. And it's all auto-graded, so you can give your students lots of practice without creating lots of marking for yourselves. Finally, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about how we've been supporting our partners running some components of their lab courses online now that they don't have access to the teaching labs. So preparing students for labs is really important and it's been shown that even a short pre-lab can really benefit students when they get hands-on in their performance, their confidence, working safely, and just being less stressed and anxious in the lab environment, which is a, becomes a very high cognitive load. So a little bit of pre-work is really good. But what is the best work they could do you know, to prepare for labs? Because typically they arrive there and they haven't really engaged with what they're doing and a lot of time can be wasted. So we want to look at resources that can really engage them, keep them motivated and help them get the most out of these labs when they get there. We've shown that when incorporating our simulations within uh, your online teaching, this can really make a big difference. So here's a study from the University of Glasgow, where on this graph here, the pre-lab that they used to prepare students for the lab had some quizzes, safety quizzes and video demonstrations. And the experience was good for a lot of the students, but not all of them. In fact, half didn't really feel that prepared for the lab or enjoy the labs when they got there. So we worked with Kirsty and some of the team there at Glasgow in integrating our simulations within their existing uh, pre-lab exercises. And this really transformed it for all students. So pretty much all of them now feeling that they've prepared for labs and ready to take on that practical session and enjoy it being a little bit more relaxed and confident about it. So what are these simulations? As you can see, they're really clear, they're two dimensional, 
It focuses students on the key learning outcomes. Here we're looking at a microscope. The students interact with them and get practice at manipulating different parts of these equipment and they get feedback along the way at every stage. So this helps them get familiar with some of the equipment and the techniques that they'll be doing. The simulations encourage them to make mistakes and to see the consequences of those within a safe environment, helping build their confidence, their safety awareness, and their understanding of these key techniques that they'll be using during their uh, lab course. The nice thing about simulations is being able to provide a close-up view of some of these techniques, giving students an appreciation of the intricacies in some of these um, techniques they'll have to do in the lab. And this has a knock-on effect of them wasting less lab material, being able to understand how to do this properly when they get into the lab. Another really nice thing about simulations is you can superimpose what's happening at the macroscopic level at the same time on the same screen and give students a much deeper understanding of what's going on in these processes at the same time. So these resources include lots of animations, as the one here, which clearly show what's happening and is questions and feedback throughout for incorrect and correct answers. So students really like using these like watching videos as well, but they tend to remember the key points much better when they've interacted with one of these resources. It's active learning, it's not passively watching a video. They really want to know what they're going to be doing in the labs. They get quite anxious about doing something for the first time. So this gives them a little bit of practice beforehand and it helps us build up that confidence. So, so these are three sort of quotes from different universities we work with from some students. Lab staff as well, so technicians, demonstrators, notice the improvements in performance in the lab and the confidence of their students. It breaks down barriers between the staff and students, being a little bit more confident and asking more questions about the science than just trying to recognize what kit they should be using and how to set it up. And again, focusing on students enjoying their lab courses and wanting to uh, get to the lab, so keeping them motivated and engaged. So we have an extensive library of these resources and I'll just show you our website catalog. You can go and have a look at this yourself. So we have a library for bioscience and chemistry. Each of these thumbnails, you can, have a, you can click on it to see an overview of what's in this resource and see some screenshots. So we cover a huge range of topics across bioscience and also in chemistry as well. If you would like access to try any of these, just get in touch. We have a sort of a showcase site where you can try all the content for yourself. So these are really easy to integrate into your VLE, whether it's Moodle, Canvas, Blackboard, Brightspace. You just add them as web links. The students click on them and work through the activities. There's no other additional login or software required. They work in modern browsers and devices. So you can add a link to it, or we can also build these quiz assignments for you. So this is a combination of seven activities from the bioscience library that have been put into one assignment. Each one has been given a certain amount of marks. And now you can track the students completing this and award them grades. And this example is something we set up for Swansea just a few weeks ago to replace a lab that they could no longer do because of the teaching labs were shut. And they had sort of 243 of their students working through this as a replacement. So how does it work? An annual subscription to the library gives you unlimited use of the resources, all the training and support you need to set them up. We can build the custom library quizzes, as I showed, so you can track how your students are getting on and give them grades. And we keep you up to date with how they're being used with stats and reports. So if you want access to demo these, get in touch. So moving on, I'm gonna talk about how our smart worksheet technology support students in their complex data analysis. Especially now with students working remotely, it's really important that we support them, but still are able to challenge them with these activities. We want to give them lots of practice opportunities. The worksheets have randomized data, so they can have multiple attempts and get feedback each time and improve and learn. Because of the sophisticated question types we've incorporated, which I'll demonstrate in a minute, 
we can develop some really nice complex scientific data analysis worksheets where the students can explore and learn about these concepts in them. They're fully supported with feedback, which is targeted to the students' responses. And this level of feedback and guidance can be tailored to suit the type of assessment that you would like to give to the student. Again, these resources have been shown to break down barriers between staff and students. Students can go and check their understanding with these worksheets to build the confidence up to then approach staff with some things that they may still not understand properly. So here's an example of a smart worksheet. This example is a titration lab. So what we'll see here is a student typing in a value into this cell and they're getting feedback straight away. So some hints here about what this cell is expecting. This, maybe it might be the range of values. It might be how many decimal places. So the student can ass assess their answer before they submit it for marking. This next cell the students entering an answer to a calculation. So again, they've got some hints here about how many significant figures we expect. This is an unrounded value. They get it correct, they get more feedback. All these feedback boxes can be customized for your assignments. If the student's stuck, they can solve. They don't get frustrated if they need to continue through this activity. The next uh, cell here is the same calculation again. So the student's having another go. So they type their value in. And this time they get it incorrect again and they get different feedback. They haven't done the conversion right, so they get told they need to convert from milliliters to liters. They can do that conversion, correct their answer, and they've gained four of the available six marks for this question. So the marks and the attempts, again, can be tailored based on how you like to set these assignments up. The third time the student does this, they get it right the first time. So they've managed to learn from the feedback and from multiple attempts in the worksheet and using that feedback straight away for the next example. So we can do multi-step calculations. We can have multiple choice questions, text questions, drop-down questions. We can also incorporate dynamic graphing. So these are interactive graphs. The students can visualize their data. We can even get them plotting their data, putting errors on it, and they can answer subsequent questions on that. We built in spectra analysis as well. This is based on students asking for this in our focus groups. They wanted more practice at analyzing spectra. So we can do NMR, IR, mass spec, build some really nice complex worksheets to guide them through this type of analysis. Reaction mechanisms as well, maybe more for the chemists, but something the students really want practice on. And our reaction mechanism question gives feedback at every step of the mechanism as they work through the curly arrows with clear visuals as well on the same smart worksheet. The nice thing about digital assessments is being able to look into the data we're collecting, how are the students getting on? So we have our stat panels shown here on this titration lab example, where we can break down the questions the students got right and where they, where they got them wrong. This is useful for both students and staff to intervene. We have a timeline mode on all the worksheets as well. So in any attempt, you can actually go to the bottom right-hand corner of the worksheet, click on the timeline button and replay that attempt. So look deeper into that student attempt. What did they get wrong? How many times? What feedback did they get? How did they correct that? How long did it take? So we're always continually working on our data analysis tools and data analytics to provide both you and the students with really valuable insights. So we can build these smart worksheets custom for your labs. Here's an example of a, on the left-hand side, maybe a traditional lab pro forma on the right-hand side, a digital version that we've created from this. We can also develop them for tutorials as well. The next few slides are just some examples within different contexts of how universities have been using those. So a kinetics uh, example here. Hemocytometry post-lab. One for a cloning uh, in-lab exercise that they did. And finally, one on a Western block post-lab post and there's some really nice simulations to support this as well for the techniques that they'll need to, to master for this uh, process. These post-labs and lab reports are fully integrated with your BLE, so you can see your student grades instantly as soon as they've submitted them. So in summary, these are fully tailored to your labs or tutorials. They seamlessly embed with your VLE 
and integrate with your gradebook. So if you're interested in developing any of these resources, again, please get in touch. We also have a brand new smart worksheet library. So these are pre-made smart worksheets covering loads of topics, giving the students lots of practice at calculations and data analysis. These have randomized data and all of the hints and feedback already built in. So these are ready to go. If you want access to try these, again, get in touch and we can give you access. So finally, I just want to talk a little bit about this challenge that we now have of teaching some of our lab components with no access to our teaching labs. And, you know, from all the conversations I've had so far, you know, what, what's really important is this communication with students. It's, it's, it's going to be difficult to have that when they're not in the labs with us. Keeping the students motivated and engaged as well, um, keeping them excited about the science. The bit that excited me most about science at university was the labs. So I know I'd be a bit disappointed if I didn't have access to it, but I'd, I'd want to know that I was getting something of real value in place of that. So these things have been mentioned already. Online quizzes, video demonstrations. So these are things that you probably do already, but you might be putting some more of those out there. If you're doing video demonstrations, then if you can have some interactivity into it, it's much better. Sometimes you might be able to try and replace a lab with a virtual lab. Well, it's impossible to replace a lab. Again, this is an option that some people might investigate. Simulations are great as well. Rather than trying to replace a lab for, it, for what it is, can we simplify some of that lab online and really teach the key components uh, using simulations, as well as generating data from simulations for analysis? So finally, a data analysis, a really important thing that we can just as easily do online. Um, and we have lots of resources to support uh, various, um, of the, various of these ways of deploying activities online. Some of the ways we're working currently with our partners are to modify existing smart worksheets to work with randomized data rather than lab data so they can still run their standard labs. And we're also modifying them in other places and adding in extra content. Using a combination of simulations and worksheets, we can provide a really nice um, experience for students to work through. So here at the University of Surrey, we developed these a couple of years ago. Where we have a series of organ bath simulations where students work through quite a complex procedure within control parameters of the simulation and are then able to do a smart worksheet on their data sets. And finally, I just uh, for this example from the University of Westminster, one of our partners, where again they had to quickly transition from a hands on lab to online activities. And 600 of their students worked through a set of our simulations in place of their practical lab skills test. And this was very well received as a replacement. I would like to announce that we are working on some new online labs for chemistry and for bioscience. These will be a combination of simulations, worksheets, and some new resources we're developing. And there'll also be opportunities for departments who want to use these to include their own video demonstration content, video introductions, and other questions as well. So if you want to find out more information about these, please get in touch and we'll keep you updated as they become available. So in summary, what I've talked about today is if you choose to work with learning science, you have access to extensive libraries of simulations for bioscience and chemistry. Libraries of these practice exercises using our smart worksheet technology. And the, also the opportunities to customize these and to develop new bespoke resources. We have some new online science labs coming out soon. So get in touch if you want to find out. And these are really flexible solutions that can fit in with the other things that you're doing online already. So the simulations can be combined in different combinations with worksheets and other video content that you might have already. And if you're thinking about investing in some technology now, think about long-term, how's this gonna benefit students when they're back in the lab? If you work with a technology partner, are they gonna support you in the long-term? And, and are they gonna align with your goals as well? If you have any more questions, uh, if you wanna get access to any of our content that we have, get in touch and for our latest news, please follow us on Twitter. Uh, thanks again for your attention and I'll take any questions now if we have time.